Steve, uh, quite an entertaining game this afternoon, uh, but what did you learn from it as a, as a friendly? Um, for 75 minutes, exactly what I wanted out of it. Um, they, the strong side they brought down, thanking Jamie and Adam for doing that, um, played a strong side against us. And not going into too many details, but the shape and the way we played um, could happen on Boxing Day. Uh, we've got another three training sessions to go along to, to work with it. But it also gave us minutes in the bank and, and an understanding against a good side um, what's expected of the players if we do go with that system. So a, a useful learning curve for you and, and some of our players? Yeah, without a doubt. And like I say, after 75 minutes, I brought the youngsters on because what I wanted served its purpose. And, and that's all about was today. That's all today was about, getting minutes into the belt for players that haven't played regular um, and also work, working on some certain things and some aspects of the game. And like I say, for 75 minutes against a good, strong Dartford side, um, done exactly what I wanted. There was a late change. Alex wasn't able to play. What was the situation there? Hamstrings were very tight. They have been tight for the last couple of games. Um, and they, they were tight in the warm-up and it wasn't worth risking him. So we decided to do something different. Just tracking back a bit on Jack Parton, what, what's the kind of news on, on Jack? At the Went moment? for a scan yesterday, sat in the hospital for two and a half hours, then they come out and told him, oh no, you're not on the list. Oh. So I don't think that's going to happen until after Christmas now. But Frust fr Frustrating. Yeah, indeed. Nice to see some of the youngsters come on and get a few minutes anyway. And mm -hmm. uh, I mean, obviously the goals were unfortunate, but I mean, the, uh, Tom in goal made an excellent save, didn't he, for instance? And, and actually we got some quite good attacks going with them, didn't we? The running was quite good. Yeah, they did, but they had a wake-up call. Um, some of the 23s couldn't make it a day because of work commitments, because I'd have had another couple of them in. But I brought the academy boys in that have been playing with the 23s, and they've done some good stuff, um, but they've got, they got to learn as well. And that 15 minutes might teach them some stuff going forward in their rest of their academy games, rest of the under-23 games, because it was a lot, lot quicker. Um, and if they learn from any mistakes they made, um, then that's a good good learning curve for them. No, definitely. And good of you to bring them bring them in as well, because I think it, it obviously gives them a bit of encouragement. As you say, learning curve. Yeah. Well, uh, in the end, a disappointing result. But I know you don't worry too much about results in friendlies. It's about the overall performances. And if you manage to learn something from that, we can move forward to, to Boxing Day. But I'm surprised you've got three three training sessions. You're working hard. Well, at the um, you talk about the result, disappointing result. It was nil nil when I made all the changes yeah. with 15 to go against a good Dartford side and, and it served its purpose, you know. So if we can um, limit them to chances, um, obviously I had the penalty, but limit them to chances, um, create a few of our own, then it, it, it served its purpose. So we move on to the festive season and Boxing Day. Uh, got any messages at the end of the year for the uh, for the supporters? Yeah, I'd just like to say um, for, on behalf of me and the players and the staff, uh, a Merry Christmas um, to each and every one of the supporters home and away, uh, the board members, the volunteers, uh, everyone involved with Tombridge Angels, from, from myself and the players, like I say, we wish you a very Merry Christmas. Thanks very much, and to Steve, and the same to you. Cheers, Jim.